Okay, we've got copper chloride. We're wanting to assign oxidation numbers. Getting the oxidation number for the copper is super easy because you just remember your reverse crisscross rule. And this becomes plus two. Okay, so your copper is plus two. The part that people find difficult is dealing with the chloride. Okay, so you've got ClO2. You look it up on table E and you'll see the charge is minus one. Okay, that means we're going to set this whole thing equal to minus one. Now oxygen is normally minus two. So if you have minus two times two, that's going to give you a total charge on the oxygens of minus four. Now you think about it like a simple algebra equation. We want to get the oxidation number for this chlorine. So we're going to call that x. If you solve this for x, x plus minus 4 gives minus 1. Then your x is going to equal positive 3. And that gives us both our oxidation number for the chlorine and our oxidation number for the oxygen. So our chlorine is positive 3 and our oxygen is minus 2.